play bowling crew, which I've played before for long periods of time. Um, so I'm going to pick it up again, but we're starting from scratch. Although I will be able to pick up my old account. Later. So we're going to do the practice one first. It's not really all that difficult, especially if you already know how to play, you know, bowl, uh, yeah, play bowling. Clearly, you want to hit right in the center. That's a very important part. And you can pull to drag. And you can also go to the sidelines. So I'm going to move this right here, pull, and release. Not that this is necessary because the rails are there, but these are just aimed directly from where you are. You unlock chests, which unlocks balls and chips. Chips are used to gamble and each different um, game that you play, like in various other games. Say, so, like, you need a hundred chips in order to play here. And you're gonna need more when you get here, as you can see. This isn't entirely unusual. It works like that in every game. Yeah, every other game that I've played that actually works like this. These are beginner balls. You unlock more balls and you do more stuff. Later on. Unfortunately, that wasn't great because I missed a pen. You can use whatever balls you desire throughout the game. After you've unlocked them, you can choose to add them. Two of the six balls that you actually roll with are three. That is. And then you watch your opponent's turn. I may have not gotten a strike. But I did better than that. And if you know the rules of bowling when it comes to counting up your pens, a spare gets you 10 plus the next ball you roll, a strike gets you 10 plus the next few balls you roll. And line this up. That's unfortunate. So I got 10 plus 9 to the, the first round was 19. Plus 10, so 29. Each game against someone is three frames piece. This person has the Viking Ball at level three, so they're actually um, at an advantage. 
Mainly because they have better balls than I do right now. Although they don't really know how to use them very well. Alright, so I'm gonna go back here. That's the spot here. And I not hooked it left a little bit, that would have been a strike. Ten plus eight is eighteen plus eight. Actually gonna go right here. And I'm right between those. I think I did better than my opponent, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh, uh, this is my next frame. Grr. <laughs> you get an extra frame. Just like you would in real bowling. And obviously that depends on how well you do on the last frame. This person really doesn't know what they're doing with the use. How do you have better balls when you're playing horribly? They also have some trick lanes that maybe have obstacles in the way or maybe a hill or something like that. Basically, each week, yes, each week, whoever is in the top 10 advances to the next. The next league. You want to gain trophies by winning. And that gets you to go to the next, uh, the next lane. Now we're gonna go to our balls, cause we have new balls. Power balls. Flock. And we can decide where we're gonna put it. And our Viking ball is exactly a good ball. To use. You can see there's different types of balls also. There was power balls, these are bounce balls. Still bounce around a little bit, maybe even off the pins a little bit better. They're good for picking up spares, especially if it's like a pretty far split. These are precise balls, they generally range in a bit larger size. Yeah, it can be used to various things. I've hit strikes with them. I've, you know, if I had a tough shot up on the tour by hitting, I've used them to aim directly at it, and I've been able to hit them that easily. So that's probably what they're there for specifically. And these are the beginner bolts that they start you out with. That's why I said six. That's what I was thinking of. I still have not actually unlocked all the balls in my normal game play. Locked. And we'll play again, just so you can get a look at how these work.
I should probably do better since these balls have more power. They're a power ball. As you can see, they have a better and longer line to show you where exactly it is you're throwing the ball. The precise balls tend to have longer ones as well. Actually, I think it's a better idea. I show you this more I am now rather than later on. You can learn a little bit about, a little bit more about where you're starting off and where you're ending. I'm not sure what the t-shirts with the gold on them is supposed to mean. That's definitely new since the last time I played. So yeah, you get six balls, they rotate in and out as you. So one, another comes up. That's why I'm at the beginner balls right now. So I doubt we're gonna actually make a strike this time. I have no confidence in this ball. But sometimes you get lucky, that's the target. And now I get another frame. Still a beginner ball, so. And since I made a strike on that, I get another one. Perfect game. In general, the high score for perfect games is 90. On all the lanes you apply, that's the highest you can go. In bowling, that would obviously be 300. I'm uh, pretty confident I'm gonna win here. <laughs> as far as curving the ball, as the meter goes left and right, that's generally how you take care of something like that. These are your daily missions. You collect stuff like change the bolts, trail, you get a reward. In order to do that, you come here and select your ball, customize, trails. And you can unlock different ones. So there's a bunch. They don't all have them. You don't need to use them. That's just one of the missions that we can unlock. So let's go to the missions. I changed the ball's trail. I want to go. Then you can watch videos to get free coins. Here. How often I'm forgetting exactly. I think once a day. 
And you can use gold yarn to get boosts. Or chips. Okay, speed it up, make things go faster. Extra free protectors, you actually don't have to pay to enter. Trophy protectors, if you lose, you don't lose trophies, you won't be stuck in, you know, not being able to get to the next lane. Right, you can choose draw to win if you decide to draw the game. You win regardless. You can also unlock the spray can chest so you can get different trails, avatars, uh, and avatars, that is. And you can use gold to get this stuff too. So, in any case, you're not actually spending money to get that. Unless it's gold. So this is the only place you'll actually spend money if you choose. Everything else is spent uh, earned with gold. In order to get gold, you play the game, you do well. You unlock cases. Otherwise, you gotta pay. It's the only real bit of a downer. Now we're gonna go here, we can up, upgrade our ball. There goes up plus two for the weight of the ball. And you need to get chips so that you can upgrade them. And you get bonuses to clock. As you progress. They even used to have seasons. I don't know if that's still a thing. And it would have two sides. One side you get for free, kind of like we just did. And then the other side, if you were paying for the season, uh, it's, it's extra. There's more stuff that you get towards, you know, the game. I spent way more than I should have on those seasons. Why? Because the season pass expires literally every week. That's the season. So, yeah. Kind of a pain in the butt. And that's why I spent more money than I should have while playing this in the past. <laughs> so if that's over with, it's a bit of a good thing. For us, not for them, of course. And... Yeah, you can always watch... Um, a video for cold, and obviously this time limits before you can do it again. And you can, you know, compare your score against your friends. Um, I'm not sure if you gain anything. You'll see. Uh, I felt the ticket was four. So get to play against your friend. And 2,000 chips. If you want to uh, invite your friends and they join the game. So, this game's been around. I actually do have a lot of fun in it. So, if you decide you want to try it out, that's awesome. And I think so, because like I mentioned, I really enjoy playing this game. And I've had a lot of fun playing it in the past. So, if you think I've wasted enough of your time already, I probably have, maybe more than Because <laughs> we're on about almost 20 minutes. So that being said, I hope this was helpful. Adios everyone, have a good one.